Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to do my best to uh, help this person. They're making a photograph with this particular sunset and that particular plane, and he's already done some of the work for me. He's vectorized it. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and nudge it over. I always do that, and I've also got the original picture and the original vector file so I can maybe steal some colors off of. And the reason I make a duplicate because I want to be able to play with it and not worry about messing it up. So I'm going to nudge the airplane out of the way. And then that way I can always nudge it back to the exact spot they had it. And if you just kind of look, it's, he was really talking about the propeller, but there's, you know, if, if this is going to be printed on paper of some sort, we need to really look at it and change some things and make it cleaned up. And, you know, as far as the propeller, I don't know how you're going to make, you know, the propeller in the, in the original picture is like spinning and it, this might take a couple of videos. So first I'm just going to clean up the plane and maybe make it fine. Cause the, the tail section is kind of, uh, not, you can't see it. So I'm going to go to, object group and ungroup it and then i have individual deals and for just a second i'm going to make that tail section gray just so i can kind of see better and then you know i would really help i'll probably have to bring the original picture in and make it roughly the same size so i can and I, i'm kind of over my head here i'm not a graphic artist, but I'm going to give it my best shot. And you can see that the tail is white and it's got a black uh, emblem or a black part. So we're going to start by cleaning that up. And because it's broken apart, we can manipulate uh, some of the nodes and, and just take some nodes away that we probably don't need. And then with this, we can make that bar and I'm not probably not going to do the whole plane, but I'm going to get the, the gentleman some leeway on how I would do it. And then I would actually take and maybe, um, now one thing you always got to be wary of, I'm going to grab both those. I'm going to right click and turn them into a line. And you've always got to be leery of, you know, the next color behind it showing through. So you'd want to make sure you're, you're leaving some feel. And then you just, you're just going to have to go back and forth to the original picture. And I don't see anything on the tail that makes it need to be a second color. So what we can do is actually take the first color and zoom it out or move it out. And you can see that the gray is in the front. So now we can grab that little one and take it away. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to try to uh, help him what I would think on the propeller. But if you, if you start with better, uh, you know, colors and better, you know, like in the original picture, this looks black or a little bit darker brown or something. So we're just going to take that particular color and make it black kind of make it stand off, out. Same thing on like that little part of the plane. You're just gonna have to go around the plane and, and, and make some straight edges. You know, you go like that, take that note away, take that note away. And then you could grab that note and bring it down. And you can see what I'm doing now, the tail is much more defined. You know, same thing here, just take notes away. Uh, you know, some of these other things are important. You know, I, I do like the coloration, but this is all kind of the same color on the bottom of the plane where the top's not this, is, is not really different. And then you could use the eyedropper tool and grab that color and put it in there. Put it in there. Make all this one color. And the shadow looks good. And, and like I said before, I'm not an artist on this type of stuff. But I am going to try to, maybe in a second video, try to figure out what to do with this propeller. So if, if this sparks your interest, 
maybe stay tuned. And it already looks better on the picture itself, as you can see. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.